To say Guy Carboneau wasn't a goal scorer would be a misnomer. After all, the one they called Carbo made it to the NHL largely because of his scoring ability. But it was halfway through his second full NHL season in 1983 that coach Jacques Lemaire helped steer the center onto a new path. When I came in uh, here, they asked me to play a defensive uh, role. And uh, the more I, I, I got the ice time and uh, the more years of uh, experience I take, uh, the more confident I, I get on the ice. Carboneau didn't have to look far for a mentor. Future Hall of Famer Bob Ganey defined what it meant to be a defensive forward in the NHL. In 1986, Ganey, Carboneau, and Chris Nyland provided Montreal with a stellar shutdown line that helped the Habs surprise many by winning the Stanley Cup. And the 1986 Stanley Cup champions for the 23rd time, the Montreal Canadiens. Over the next six seasons, Carboneau became the best defensive forward in the game. He succeeded Gady as captain of the team in 1989 and won three Selkie trophies over that time. Entering the 1993 playoffs, the Canadians were a long shot to win it all, but Carboneau's grit and determination rubbed off on his teammates, and the Canadians made a surprising run to the cup final where they would face Wayne Gretzky and the Los Angeles Kings. After watching Gretzky get four points in a game one victory for the Kings, Carboneau asked head coach Jacques Demers for the ultimate assignment to shadow the great one. Over the next four games, Gretzky was held to just three points and the Canadians won every game, capturing their 24th Stanley Cup. Carboneau is the last captain to have led that proud franchise to a cup victory. Carboneau found his way to the Dallas Stars in 1995, where he became a veteran leader on a team that had enjoyed tremendous regular season success. In 1999, that success finally carried over to the postseason, when once again, Carboneau played a key defensive role on a team that would win it all. When he retired in the summer of 2000, Carboneau left the game as one of the best two-way forwards of his generation. Now in 2019, Guy Carboneau is an honored member of the Hockey Hall of Fame in the player category. To present Guy his Hall of Fame plaque, 1992 inductee, Bob Ganey. <laughs> Bonsoir tout le monde. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Bob. Uh, having you here tonight means the world to me. It's an unbelievable honor and a true privilege to stand here before you tonight. I am very grateful for this humbling experience. Obviously, I'd like to thank the Hockey Hall of Fame Selection Committee for this tremendous honor. Thank you, Kelly Massey, for making this weekend a special one for my family and friends. And to Lanny and John, for the unexpected call, you won't be surprised to hear that it made my day. I'm also very proud to enter the Hall of Fame in such amazing company. Congratulations to you, Haley, Vaslav, Jim, Jerry, and to my former teammates, Sergey Zuboff. I really enjoyed the time spent with you all over the past few days. As a kid, I was dreaming about playing in the NHL, dreaming of winning the Stanley Cup, dreaming scoring a goal in the playoffs. Somehow, as we make our way through the hockey ranks, we learn how to react to different things. When we get drafted, when we play our first game, when we score our first goal, and for the lucky ones, when we finally win the cup. But being inducted in the Hall of Fame, never in my wildest dream. I definitely wasn't prepared for that, so please bear with me as I'm still dealing with this career highlight. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of people to thank. I was born in Setzil, some 1,000 miles away. And like all kids in Quebec, rumor has it that I learned how to skate before I could even walk. That's where it all started. I'd like to thank the city of Setzil for providing the infrastructures that allow me to increase my love for the game of hockey. Permettez-moi de remercier la ville de Setzil pour leur infrastructure 
qui m'ont permis de m'améliorer comme joueur et de développer ma passion pour le hockey et le sport. Je m'en voudrais d'oublier les bénévoles et les instructeurs de cette île qui donnent temps et assistance durant les saisons et les parents qui bravent le froid et la neige au lever du jour pour que nous ayons toujours une belle patinoire pour jouer et vivre notre passion. Vous êtes nombreux. Merci à vous tous. There comes a time in a young hockey career when you have to leave home to pursue your dreams. Most left home at the early age of 15 and 16 to play junior hockey. Far away from mom, dad, brothers and sisters, it's part of the process of being a hockey player, but also part of growing up to becoming a, a man. Shikurimi proved to be a great school of, of life. Thanks to the organization of the Saguenayens and, of course, the hospitality and support of the families I live with while away from home. Mes années à Shikurimi comptent parmi les plus belles de ma vie. Et j'aimerais remercier l'organisation des Saguenayens et les gens de la ville de Shikurimi pour avoir fait de moi un joueur de hockey plus complet et m'avoir donné les outils pour devenir un homme avec de bonnes valeurs. Je ne serais pas ici aujourd'hui sans ma famille d'accueil, la famille Cardinal et la famille Bossé. Merci infiniment de toute l'aide, l'amour et le soutien que vous m'avez apporté. Au point de vue hockey, mes remerciements à mes entraîneurs Guy Brassard, Jean-Charles Gravel, mais particulièrement à Orval Tessier et surtout à Yvan Gingras, qui a cru en moi dès mes débuts et qui ne m'a jamais abandonné. Merci également à Diane Girard et Rénal Nepton pour leur soutien durant les bons moments et les plus difficiles. When living far away from your family, friendships become very precious. And I was fortunate enough to have made amazing friends in Shkutsmi, friendships that have been lasting for the past 30 years. Pendant mes quatre saisons à Shkutsmi, j'ai eu la chance de tisser des lieux précieux, des liens précieux avec des gens qui demeurent des amis depuis maintenant plus de 30 ans. J'aimerais remercier ma belle famille, Rosaire, Edith, Diane et Normand, ainsi que Carole Tremblay. Merci aussi à Pierre Cardinal, Michel Boivin, Gabi Asselin, Marc Desforges et Gervais Manger, qui sont des amis, mais qui étaient aussi des partenaires avec l'Organisation des Saguenayens. Merci pour cette belle amitié. As I mentioned earlier, as an up-and-coming hockey player, you prepare for special occasion in your career. And the NHL draft is one of those events. How can I forget August 9, 1979, when my first dream came through? being drafted by the Montreal Canadiens. I was thrilled. I had spent my childhood watching Abs game on TV, looking at Billy Vo and Lafleur's every move, and of course, witnessed their Stanley Cup parades. The grooming to become an NHL player continued as I spent my first two years playing in the American League with the Halifax Voyagers. For those years, I'd like to thank my coach, Bert Templeton, and John Brophy, who helped me become a pro and, of course, to all my teammates. Then, my dream came through in 1982, and for the next 12 years, I had the chance to play for the Montreal Canadiens. Once again, I had the chance to play under coaches who helped me become a better player and a leader. I'd like to thank Bob Berry, Jean Perron, Pat Burns, but especially Jacques Lemire for believing in what I can do on the ice and molding me into the player that got me here today. Thank you, Jacques Demers, for being just who you are, a really, really great human being and a good coach. To be successful, you need good teammates and dedicated coach, but you also need great ownership. The Molson family has been involved with the club for half a century, making the story franchise what it is. Thanks to Eric, David, Andrew, and Jeff for your dedication and leadership over the years. Thanks also to Renal Corrie, Serge Chavard, and Pierre Boivin. I had the chance of playing against great players, guys like Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, Joe Sackick, Peter Stashny, guys who made me work and sweat for every inch every night and reminded me that success is not something you achieve in one night, but over the course of many years. I also had the fortune of playing with great teammates who share their knowledge and experience. They taught me what leadership is all about, and it serves me well to this day. Just imagine starting your career with guys like Guy Lafleur, Larry Robinson, Mario Trombley, Steve Schutt, and especially two teammates with whom I had the chance to win my first Stanley Cup in 86, 
Bob Ganey and Chris Thailand. And who can forget the 93 Stanley Cup? A long shot to win it. We were all in together. I'd like to thank from 93 guys like Patrick, Vinny, Savvy, Keener, Kirky, Breezer, and the rest of my teammates. Thank you all. I joined the St. Louis Blues for the short 94 95 season, where I play under Mike Keenan. Although short, I enjoy my time in St. Louis, and I'd like to thank the Blues organization. The late Herb Brooks said, great moments are born for, from great opportunities. That was the case in Dallas when Bob Ganey, again, Doug Armstrong and Jim Lights traded for me in 95 and helped me on my way to winning my third Stanley Cup. Thanks to Brett Hall, Mike Badanu, Joe Duandike, Darren Atcher, Sergey Zuboff, Greg Ludwig, Coach Ken Ishcock, and all the rest of my teammates. And to the city of Dallas for embracing me and to this day still taking care of my two daughters and grandchildren. An NHL hockey career only lasts for so long. And after losing the finals in 2000, the time had come for me to move on. But leaving hockey is never easy. Hockey is in our DNA, and our love for the game never diminishes. For a decade after that, I remained close to the game with jobs as assistant coach, assistant GM, and head coach of the Montreal Canadian. Since then, I stepped aside, and I'd like to thank Jerry Frappier and Dominique Vanelli from RDS for giving me a second life and a chance to stay around the game I love. This brings me to today. To the people who are here with me tonight and help me stay grounded every day, Dari, Marlene, Herb, and Veronique, thank you. By the way, thanks, Herb, for the tie. À la sœur de ma femme, Diane, et sa fille, Julianne, thank you for being here. À mon frère Marcel, ma sœur Anne, qui n'ont pas été ici aujourd'hui, et à mes frères Denis et Robert, qui sont ici présents, merci de m'avoir toujours supporté et poussé à être meilleur. Vous avez toujours su respecter l'environnement et l'espace dont j'avais besoin, et j'en suis très reconnaissant. Merci. À ma mère, merci pour tout. Merci d'avoir été un pilier pour la famille après la mort de Charlemagne et de toujours m'avoir supporté dans mon rêve de devenir un joueur de hockey. To my kids, it's great to look back and fast forward to all the great things that happened to me. But I want to tell my two daughters, Anne-Marie and Christina, my grandchildren, Brielle, Mallory, and Brody, my sons-in-law, Brendan and Danielle, that this induction wouldn't mean as much if I didn't have my family to share it with tonight. Thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you. I'm not done, because that's the last page, page. And to my wife, who I met at 17, where do I start? First of all, thank you. It was not always easy. We've had ups and we've had downs, but you always stay true to yourself. You had strong conviction, strong opinions, that we're never afraid to speak up, and that's what I loved about you. You gave up a lot, a, you gave up a lot at a young age to take care of a family, and to support a hockey player. That wasn't easy. You saw the best and you saw the worst. You helped me through it and pushed me every day to be at my best. At the same time, taking care of two kids, the house, the finance, and anything that needed to be done for me to be ready for games. I never gave you enough credit for it, and I'm sorry. Not only did you raise two daughters to become what they are now, but you managed to have a business career and do very well on your own. And for that, I'm really impressed. We've known each other for a long time, 42 years, for exact. This award, it never happens if it's not, you're not with me. So thank you, I love you. And the good part now is that when people ask me in the street if I'm in the Hockey Hall of Fame, my answer will be yes. Thank you very much, have a good night.